listen. Before this opens, I gotta say, when you see people's garages all clean, how do you do it? I understand I've been busy with the kids and doing a lot of stuff, but god damn. I've been working on this garage for a week and I haven't put a dent in it except fitting three bikes. So there's the uh, the good old 1000, there's the good old 600. The stunt bike is under this that cuts decals, then the, these and that, and then recycling. I got no idea why I'm giving you a tour of a dirty garage. I barely have space this thing has this strong ass magnet and all you have is this clip here and it looks all right it's just like a random clip that's like looks like it doesn't belong there but it doesn't look horrible right i'm going to test out right now what it, what it sounds like and i hope you guys don't hear rustling and bustling when i move like this around the store and stuff but if it works out i might wear this when i vlog so it's a lot easier for me instead of holding the mic because i really don't want to hold the mic you know what it is, bro. The cool thing about the zeon one is that you can change like the exhaust with a button all right listen 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 this is snow it doesn't sound that great. This is track. It's better. I haven't told anyone yet, but I do want to turn this garage into like, uh, it has to be storage, man. Two kids and all the stuff is like, it has to be storage. I want to put like a corner of the garage, maybe one half of the garage. I want to turn it into like a little motorcycle spot where I could work on it, do videos and like, have a little like recording spot for my motorcycles when they're in the garage. I think it'd be cool. I have a little plan of continuing my brand, but ex expanding into bigger tier equipment for motorcycles and cars. Like not something that your influencers do, but something that like legit businesses that I'm, I'm dreaming big is what I'm saying. Um, but that's all I'm gonna say right now. If you guys want, want to see that kind of content, let me know. I definitely have to change this plate. It start, it's got like rock chips everywhere and stuff. Not the plate, but I'm, I'm talking about the frame. I actually put that on Amazon last year and it's doing really, really well. If you want to find it, the link will be in the description. Bye, baby. Bye, baby number two. And three, somewhere over there. My other baby, Miss Winter. You guys haven't seen Winter too much, have you? But what if I did like a, a chest mount? I can't do a chest mount, but like a head mount. And then that way I could do like uh, car vlogs. The plan is, no one knows this, okay? The plan is, I kind of want to do, this will stay on this channel because I don't want to give it away. I want to do live stream motorcycle content and live stream car stuff you guys want to see that let me know but for now we have to make a trip guys to canadian tire i'm in canada i hate canada bro get me to texas i want to be in texas and i long vision short term long vision kind of like i don't know how long it's going to take but i got to email uh, an immigration lawyer i've been talking to because i want to move from canada to texas with the family what in the world did you guys hear that little whistle or something that was not my car i hope so I've been doing my research on moto vloggers and not even at this rate, bro, moto vlogging is like in a different genre. I feel like I feel like now it's more of like do it what Dan said it best in his video. He said it's like super cringy. It's super bad. These new motorcycle content creators have like this weird like they're in this bubble where it's just like everything is about them. The road should respect them no matter what. You know what I mean? And it's like I and when I came back, I started getting like all these videos from these content creators because the algorithm changed because I've been back in the game and stuff. And he said exactly what I was thinking, man. Just today, I'm scrolling through Instagram and I see this girl pull up in like a, it was like a reel or whatever. This girl pulls up in a motorcycle jacket. She zips it open and then she's just got a bra on, bro. And everybody's staring. And she makes a video saying like, oh, why is everyone staring at me? Like, bro, you were literally seeking attention. And I just like, this generation, no offense if you're younger. A lot of people and a lot of kids in this generation, bro, not even kids, like 19 year olds, 20, 22, whatever, they seek approval and attention from the internet to feel like they got something going on, man. It's crazy to me. It's it's insane. And this is coming from a guy. I watched one guy who was just talking nonsense about running from cops and doing all this and that. And he's like, trust me, I've been riding for five years, this and that. Bro, you were, five years is nothing in motorcycle time, brother. And I don't want to sound like a grandpa doing this because I, I actually feel like a, like a, like a, like an old Karen kind of, you know, kind of feel like an OG motor vlogger saying this. And, it's, and, I, and I feel like I'm in the category of OGs. On my main channel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the OG motor vloggers and I'm going to make a video of like where they're at, if they're still around and what they're doing and stuff like that. I can give you a hint. I donated to one of them back when I wasn't even full time YouTube. I donated to one of them like a really long time ago, like probably like 2015 or something when they had a major accident. And this was when I was broke. I didn't have money. I wasn't making crazy money. It's a little bit right after that. He talked smack about me on a YouTube video. I got me a Starbucks trying to be better. And this, bro, this thing. I DM'd him once saying as a joke almost, yeah, man, we should like do something together. The guy on Twitter DMs you back on the on the account for five hour energy. He's like, LOL, or some, some stupid answer like that. So 
I don't even know why I'm buying this stuff. I should be buying Bang Energy. I got bad news, guys. I forgot my wallet, bro. What? Why are you driving so fast? I was literally going 40. Okay, yeah, right there. You weren't about to up there. Huh? Why didn't you drive down this road before? I don't go fast. I, 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 I was... I wasn't, you're saying I was going to go fast before I even went fast. So what, well, how does that even make sense? Because I know how acceleration works. So I you know how acceleration way. works? That's the reason why you're saying I'm going to speed? It's Wait, hold on, 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 hold on. I didn't even speed. So why are you accusing me of speeding? Because I've seen you drive down this road before. I don't speed on this road. Okay. Then you wouldn't be so offended right now. Well, because you, you told me I was speeding, so I backed up and I asked you why. You took the corner so fast. I did not. If the speed limit is 40, I can go 40, right? If you have to cut the corner so deep in order to keep it up 40. Listen, listen, princess. I was going 40, the speed limit. Fuck yourself. Fuck yourself. Go put your groceries in the car, all right? Have a great day, princess. The reason why I'm bringing up Fousey Tube is because I actually have a video idea that I'm going to record on my motor vlog. Oh, that girl's going to hate me with the motorcycle. Oh my God. A lot of people assume you're going really fast with the car if your exhaust is loud or if it just sounds like not like if it, if it just if it sounds loud, like it's, it's weird, man. I've had a guy do the same thing to me in my, at my other house telling me you're going way too fast. And it's like, bro, I was barely going fast. It's just my exhaust, man. You're just jumping to conclusions, bro. The reason why Fousey Tube came up, ADHD is kicking in again, is because he called Dundas D Dundas or something he, and he was here yesterday which is why I'm bringing it up but he's he's on another I don't support him anymore for the record he's on a he's on some next level I don't even know what's going on with that guy the reason why I brought him up is because Dundas Square Dundas Toronto Mississauga I was from Mississauga then I moved to Brampton and those areas weren't so ratchety smashity okay Brampton was bad but it wasn't as bad as this I feel like maybe Brampton's worse now because I haven't been there in four years now I live in Kitchener. If you're from Kitchener or you or you know Kitchener or whatever, there's a lot of cool people, but there's also a lot of really, really, how do I say this without being mean? Because I don't mean it towards anyone living here that watches my videos, but garbage people, trash, trailer park looking at, buck tooth ripped shirts with a poop stain on their pants, aka the girl that yelled at me. So let's run it back turbo real quick. I left for four years. This channel I used to treat as a life channel, like a life vlog channel. And I really, really, really want to keep motorcycle content on my main channel. Like motorcycle, like, you know, getting the oil and doing all that, like this could stay here, but I really want to find a specific niche for this channel now. Cause I do want to leave Tina and I on this channel on the other channel separate. And then I want to have this channel for like family and doing this and random stuff. And sometimes maybe a video will catch on and I'll, I'll, maybe find a niche that way but for now we're doing what we got to do the way I've done vlogs the way I've done videos on the main channel with Tina guys a lot of people have a piece of paper on a whiteboard they do they they write down exactly what they're doing oh my that car is smoking holy oh my I'm taking you guys off so you guys can see a lot of people have scripts a lot of people have like notes and like they write down what they're gonna do in the video especially like some even moto vloggers did it and all that Bro, I kid you not, from A to Z, every single video Tina and I recorded was strictly off of our energy, off of our, like how we are together, and it was random. We never, ever scripted a video, which is why I loved it so much, and every time I watch a video, I laugh. Every time I edited a video, I laughed because it was just natural. It's literally how we are as a person. We connect, we read each other's sandwiches. Just yesterday, I was thinking about something randomly, like out of the blue, nothing happened to trigger that thought. I just randomly thought about it. Tina's in the car next to me. Kapow, she says it out loud. And I look at her, I'm like, God oh, damn girl, what do I do? Oh man, that car stinks. It's, it's, it reminds me of my Explorer because my Explorer was smoking like to the point where cars couldn't see behind me. It's smoking. I feel bad for him, but I mean, I was literally there two, three weeks ago. I got to tell you about the, my Ford Explorer, and I don't know if I want to do it now, but maybe a different video of why you should never get a Ford Explorer ever in your life. But this is kind of cool. Like, if I had, like, a some kind of, like, mount over here, right? Fun fact, the Explorer, actually, I'm not gonna, I'm going to talk about it more, but the Explorer, oh, by the way, my, th my, pr my brain is pushing me in every direction. A storm update will happen. I'm leaving it at that. Explorer, it ended up being a very, 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 very expensive fix. And cars nowadays are hella expensive too. So we'll talk about that too. So we're at the, like a lot of, what I'm, bro, I, someone please, 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 can someone 
relate to me with how my brain works because I'm I, like it literally sometimes worries me. I don't know if that's normal or not, but my brain is literally like I'm thinking about a hundred things a minute every day of my life, and it's sometimes like stressful and stuff. I don't know, man. I'm starting to like almost panic. Bye, girl. I literally have my phone to my ear, and yo, this Canadian Tire. 1400 Ottawa Street. If you go here, go get a hot dog. That sausage is big fire, big fire. They sell the dinkiest motorcycle helmets. Oh my, what is this? Oh my God. So there's a three liters for one bike, and then I think it was three and change for the other bike, but I'm gonna get an extra one just in case. Shopping cart review right now. It's called, uh, oh my, that truck just slammed his brakes. What is going on? He would have smacked right into that car. Not mine. Is that yours? That's awesome. I love the hand too. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Have a good day. That was a lady's Pepsi truck. She asked if that's my truck because there's a Pepsi on it. <laughs> Fun fact also at this Walmart, guys, I was here uh, last week and I see a bunch of cops and I was like, oh, well, I'm going to park literally where I'm parking right now because I don't want to ticket my license plate because as you could tell, the plate's literally just laying down on the damn dashboard. But there was a bunch of cops there and the reason why there was cops was because some crazy lady was butt naked walking around Walmart almost kind of like an American Walmart bro there's like literally just like full-blown naked boobies out and everything this tire is as bald as it can get like there's literally nothing on here and I don't know the term or how much life it has I think this is like the the, the thing where you can like kind of see how much is left there's still a hole in it so I'm assuming bro I don't know I don't know you tell me I mean I didn't find what I came for but he likes gooey stuff experiments and science experiments and stuff so we got him this and we got him Sonic Shadow because he's been crazy into Sonic. Oh, I almost had a mini pa uh, panic attack. I thought I lost my wallet, but it was like deep down in my pocket. Construction people are like, nope, you cannot go right now. So we're letting the other guys pass through traffic. And then she's telling me to come closer. Like, I don't want to come closer because there's a truck right there. It's always the chicks that are controlling those traffic things. No offense to chicks, but I stayed further away because there's this big dump truck they were working on and stuff was flying out of it. But she's telling me to um, to come closer by the truck. And I don't want to be by the truck, bro. My car's already gotten keyed and stuff thrown at it with rocks and all that. I am not sitting next to a truck that's got a bunch of like moving construction people tossing stuff into it, right? And then she turns the sign around and says, the, the, uh, the opposite of the sign says uh, slow. So you saw me, I was going slow, and she told me to go even slower, bro. So I gave her a little boom boom. Like the fact that the sign said slow, so I went slow, and then she told me to go even slower where I wasn't even going fast, bro. You guys saw, I wasn't like, I was not going fast. I feel like I'm snowcat right now, just complaining about everything and everybody. But that guy doesn't even ride motorcycles no more, I don't think. I think he's on like an electric scooter now or something, so. So another thing about Kitchener, and another thing Six Foot Karen is complaining about right now, roundabouts in this city, I love them. Roundabouts are like more convenient. You don't sit at red lights and stuff, but bro, people do not know how to use roundabouts. Oh my goodness. They will literally like go around, but like go on two lanes or like go into your lane and like they got no idea what they're doing. And a lot of people here just got to this country. If you're from here, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because like, for example, if you come from India, when you drive in India, bro, Indian roads are not Canadian roads or American roads or whatever like Indian roads are like it's a free-for-all bro it's a battle royale car edition you gotta you gotta kind of conform to how we drive here man like I, I had nothing against anybody but damn man I am just going off on everybody today so I might be motorcycle you might see it yeah I just I have a lot of catching up to do with you guys and I just feel like I want to try and fit it in one video, but like I just start remembering random things and it's just like every video is like something, some other topic, something here, something there. So I don't know. I'm going to consider this a car vlog because I'm not going to have time for a lot of the stuff that I wanted to do today with you guys because I got kids and I got other stuff to do and all that. So, oh my God, I did not buy chain loop for the damn motorcycles. I'm going to record another video for Six Foot Life with the oil change and talk about bikes and talk about more of the bike life scene. But right now, guys, Six Foot Karen is in full effect. I'm mad and I'll see you later, bitch.